article, Association of Elevated Triglycerides with Increased Cardiovascular Risk and Direct Costs in Statin Treated Patients, will be appearing soon in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. In this large administrative claims database analysis, we observed that statin treated patients who had high cardiovascular risk with triglyceride levels that exceeded 150 milligrams per deciliter, despite having generally controlled low density lipoprotein cholesterol, had worse cardiovascular and health economic outcomes than patients with triglycerides less than 150 milligrams per deciliter and HDL cholesterol greater than 40 milligrams per deciliter. We initially identified approximately 1.6 million patients with one or more prescription claims for a statin from the Optum Research Database. After applying study inclusion and exclusion criteria, we identified a cohort with elevated triglycerides and a propensity matched comparator cohort. Each group comprised 23,181 persons, half of whom were women. Our multivariate analysis controlled for patient characteristics as well as comorbidities. There was a significant 25.8% higher rate of occurrence of the composite endpoint of major cardiovascular events in the hypertriglyceridemic group compared with persons with triglycerides less than 150 mg per deciliter over the mean 3.5 years of follow-up. The elevated triglyceride cohort experienced a 31.9% higher risk for non-fatal myocardial infarction, a 13.7% higher risk for non-fatal stroke, and a 46.1% higher risk for the need for coronary revascularization. We also found that the elevated triglyceride cohort was associated with an 11.8% higher direct total health care cost and a 13% higher rate of occurrence of inpatient hospital stays. The population of patients with elevated triglycerides and a history of diabetes and or other atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease is large, and these patients are commonly encountered in clinical practice. Our findings of substantial residual cardiovascular risk among patients with elevated triglycerides complements the findings of the recently completed REDUCE-IT trial. In the REDUCE-IT trial, purified icosapentaenoic acid provided significant incremental reduction of risk for a broad range of cardiovascular events among high-risk patients treated with statins, but who had hypertriglyceridemia. Taken together, these data provide a compelling rationale for the treatment of patients who have elevated triglycerides despite optimal statin use. Our findings have implications for patients at high risk for cardiovascular events. Even when LDL cholesterol is well controlled on a statin, triglycerides clearly contribute to residual risk. In this analysis, we demonstrate that the relationship between triglycerides and cardiovascular risk remains significant even after we adjusted for non-HDL cholesterol as well as HDL cholesterol. Further study of this group of patients with elevated triglycerides and a history of diabetes and or atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease is clearly warranted. Thank you so much. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.